I really can't tell if this is like straight or not. Is that straight? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I, I know, I know, I said I was gonna upload once a week and I didn't. I think it's been two weeks, maybe three. But I have a little Valentine series planned for this week and I have all the videos done. I just need to upload them so I have no excuses. So obviously this is the first one. I thought I would start it off with a little like q and um, I'm kind of nervous <laughs> to be honest. Um, so I asked on Instagram for some like TMI questions. Um... <laughs> I feel like it's only right because I'm always asking you questions and you always tell me everything. So I felt like it was time for me to tell you a little bit of something. The question that came up most was about my last relationship. Um, so obviously you know I've just been single since like the end of September I think. Um, I'm actually not going to talk about it, like I'm not going to go into it, like it was just, well, it was, it was a bit complicated to be honest, I'm not going to go into it, but it was very complicated. Um, nothing in particular really happened, probably for the best, I think anyway. Not everyone who is in your life is meant to stay in your life forever, some people are just there for like lessons and stuff. Okay, so now that that's out of the way because I swear that question came up so many times and I didn't want to just ignore it but I didn't want to talk about it either. So the next question is worst or most embarrassing boy experience you've had? I was trying to think and I actually don't know like I genuinely can't think of anything. Um, like, uh, um, I don't know. There's some things I could say, but like, I can't say on the internet. Like, I genuinely don't really get embarrassed. Like, there, like, embarrassment is only in your own head. So like, I just voice messaged my friend Neve and I asked her what my worst, most embarrassing, whatever, boy story is. Me and Neve shared a bedroom in second year of college um we only just met like we knew each other before but we didn't really like know each other so when we moved in together we didn't know much about each other at all um but we literally became obsessed with each other within like <laughs> three days i would say so anyway i got with this boy and i was like whatever and then the next day neve like slept on the couch or something and like I don't know something weird anyway and I was like what is wrong with her like and she's being so weird and she was like I'm fine I'm fine I'm fine and I was like okay home one night from the college bar and I think she was drunk and uh, she told me that she liked the boy like, for like a good while she really liked him um I felt really really bad but it was fine because I didn't know like I hadn't a clue and I've obviously if I had known I wouldn't have done it um, and and we are, we're still friends, me and Eve were best friends, so it didn't affect our friendship at all. Oh my god. <laughs> when I asked Neve about my embarrassing stories, she was like, oh, what about that Michael Fassbender guy that you... <laughs> what about that Michael Fassbender guy that you liked in second year? Michael Fassbender. What's your biggest turn ons in a boy? Oh, definitely like a nice smile. I love a nice smile, like nice teeth. Oh, um, uh, like nice hands and arms, but like, um, boys who are like too big and muscly scare me. I just not nah, like, um, I really like my biggest is like boys who are like charming. That really gets me like that gets me I'm like oh my god like kind of like cheeky but like I don't know not flirty like more like charming <sighs> literally <coughs> smells nice and like when a boy smells nice oh my god we literally ask for like the bare minimum we're like if a boy smells nice yeah he'd want to smell nice like don't come near me if you smell bad this one, I don't know if this is a thing. 
I think it might be a thing. If it is, let me know. But I really like veiny arms. I don't know. I just love looking at them. I love touching them. Like, I feel like I literally haven't even like spoken to a boy in so long that I don't even know what I like anymore. Because like I've just like been in a relationship for the past three years and now I'm single but we're in lockdown. I haven't even looked. I haven't even seen. I haven't even laid eyes on a boy. I don't think. Like literally other than like my two brothers and the delivery man. <laughs> I hate it. Next question is turn offs in a boy. Boys who think they're smarter than you. Boys who can't take a joke or don't get my sense of humor. Um, oh, oh, I hate jealousy so much. And um, what else? Don't know, like, that's about it really. Like just, mm, don't know, boys who don't have any like ambition or drive or goals or don't wanna do anything at all ever and they just want to sit and play like Xbox all day. That is so boring. I have too much energy for that. Okay, my biggest regret, I don't really know. I don't really have any regrets. Like I don't feel like I, like there's nothing I really regret. Some things obviously that I wish um, were slightly different, but that's just the way it is. There's no point dwelling on it. So like I can't I don't really I can't really say that I have a regret because like anything that I wish was like different I just don't dwell on it because I'm like there's nothing I can actually do about it So what's the point wasting my time thinking about it? You know my dumbest ick. I remember I asked Jews for your icks like a couple of weeks months ago and I have so many icks that I didn't realize I have but I try not to like focus on them because like once I stop once I start not liking someone I am like repulsed by them so I cannot think about the icks that you put in my head I just I literally cannot stand boys who have like holes in their socks <sighs> buy new socks like I really hate that like it freaks me out um I just like even thinking that a boy has holes in his socks when even when he has his shoes on and like it's just in my head that he has holes in his socks I'm like Ew. Um, also, I hate when boys sit cross-legged. Like, oh my god. I don't know, like things like boys drinking through a straw, like that's kind of weird to me. Advice for finding a boyfriend during the current lockdown. Girl, I actually don't know. Um, I downloaded Tinder because my friend really convinced me to download Tinder and Bumble. Um, it's not for me. I just can't be arsed um, replying to messages, to be honest. Um, I'm too fussy also. So I, f I don't know, like Tinder, I guess, but like, it's not great, is it? <laughs> um, I don't know, like, I guess we're just gonna have to wait. Like, as much as you can like talk to people through Zoom and talk to people on Instagram and talk to people on whatsapp and whatever else you cannot really get to know someone unless you are face to face um and until like you are around them and like you know see how you like vibe with them and mesh with them you cannot really decide if you like someone or not i guess we're just gonna have to wait until this is all over but like just talk to people on instagram and like go on tinder like start chatting to people and then like you can like um narrow it down to like a few boys that you like or like a few girls that you like and then when this is all over you can start like going on dates and like meeting up with people and stuff and then hopefully by then like i don't know <laughs> yeah it's just a waiting game girls we're just gonna have to wait till we get the vaccine like <laughs> A few more months okay next question is story of your first kiss um it's nothing crazy like it was actually just fine and um, I was in the Gale talked there was this boy and he was really funny and I liked him at the time and then we kissed <laughs> there was like a 
I don't know why I'm embarrassed talking about this. <laughs> um, but there was like, we, were, we used to walk home to our like houses and uh, we walked home and there was like a lane called Lover's Lane. And that's where like people like kissed or whatever. Um, and yeah, we just kissed and I was so nervous because he was like, I think he was like, two years older than me maybe um or like he was definitely a year older than me anyway um and he had already kissed someone before so i was like really really nervous but it was fine like basically the girls were like watching and everything like it was it was kind of weird like but that's kind of like everyone's first kiss is a bit a wee bit weird okay, so the next question is my ideal man um I actually am like I actually do have so like I have like the perfect man in my mind so hopefully when I'm ready he will manifest so looks wise I like um like nice smile nice teeth nice eyes brown hair preferably but you know you know yeah I was gonna say I'm not fussy but I am brown hair um taller than me i don't really care but like as long as he's not smaller than me but like he can be the same height i don't really care um taller than me preferably though that would be great um nice style nice clothes and i feel like i'm more fussy with the personality because that's like the important thing really um so i like someone who is funny who can make me laugh um like who has like similar sense of humor to me I like someone who wants to do things and go places and is adventurous I don't like sitting around doing nothing Ugh. um that's just not for me so like someone who has like similar energy to me like that is like those are the most the two most important um someone who's like ambitious like who has goals who like wants to do something with their life even if it's something small but who likes talking about things like you know like things deeper than just like surface level things like i like to talk about things and discuss like things like you know the universe and stuff yeah i don't know what else paul rudd Next question, um, I knew this was gonna come up, so I was ready to tell it. Um, so the last day I asked you for your worst breakup stories and I said I would tell mine and then I got nervous on Instagram because I was like, oh, too many people watching. But I'm gonna tell it now because I was asked a few times about it. Um, no, it wasn't my last boyfriend. It's about a different boy. Um, he wasn't really my boyfriend, like he kind of was, but not really um, because he was literally kind of irrelevant in my life, not in a mean way, but like literally anytime I bring him up, my mommy's like, who? Like everyone just forgets about him. Um, so I'm gonna tell you this how we broke up. It's actually pretty funny. Um, so I was with this boy in, for a few months, like for a good while, like, and we spent a lot of time together. Basically, I think we were more friends I think we got confused and we were like friends but like we thought we were like more than friends um anyway we i was with this boy for like a few months and like i'd met his parents and everything i met his brother i met his brother's girlfriend i think and everything and um then he was actually supposed to be going on a j1 like to america that summer so this was probably like christmas time or whatever and um he was like I was like I'm not I'm not getting involved like you're going to America like whatever like we're not like serious or whatever but then he asked me to be his girlfriend and he was like we can make this work blah 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 I was like okay fine he was going for three months um, and then when he when he went like he went in like May or whenever people go on their J1 and he kind of just like stopped talking to me even though we said we were like exclusive like we were boyfriend and girlfriend he kind of just like disappeared basically first two weeks he went we did not speak like and i was like okay a bit weird then eventually he did speak to me and we spoke like every few days and he was like it's just so hard because of the the time difference and blah blah the time difference was five hours what we barely spoke when we did speak it was literally like three messages and then just like 
radio silence again for like another few days and I just kind of was like okay I'll just go with it so then he came home but I had already planned to go to freshers week in Galway with my friend um so anyway I went down and he was a bit raging because I didn't come down and see him even though I was like you literally barely spoke to me all summer you know anyway I was like to my friend I'm not feeling this anymore like I like who is this boy like he just randomly came home from america and now all of a sudden he wants to talk to me again so i was getting ready to go out and i was putting my makeup on and i text him because i was like i'm not gonna ring him to be honest like that might be mean but like he didn't speak to me all summer so i was like um i i think we should break up or whatever and um he was like no 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 blah blah and i was like yes we we're we're breaking up like we're we are breaking up like i'm sorry you know he was like oh okay see you never you're t i was like okay literally i cried for probably 10 seconds i'd say one single tear dripped down my face wiped it away and carried on getting ready and went out but yeah then I, we just never spoke again and i've never seen him since I can barely remember what he looks like. Really weird. Like, it was actually like, I'm not joking when I say I think that year of my life was a glitch in the simulation. I'm not joking. Like, um, but yeah, that was basically my breakup with him. It was very, very weird. Um, <laughs> like, I don't even know why like what yurt like what okay next question someone asked your thoughts please okay this is some advice let me just get my glasses on online dating the guy is very scatty with messages like one message in a few days but he's online only a short while messaging okay let me give my thoughts I think like at the minute we are in lockdown we're in this pandemic there's nothing to actually talk about like there's nothing to talk about other than coronavirus lockdown what you're watching on netflix like there's only a certain number of topics that we can actually talk about like you can't ask people what they're doing at the weekend like you can't ask people have they any plans for the summer because like probably no one's really making plans like we can't talk about anything there's nothing to talk about really like there's not so he's probably like scatty because like for me I don't think at the minute I would want to be talk talking to someone like every single day because you would just run out of things to talk about like it's really hard to keep a conversation going so maybe he's like leaving the messages you know like here and there because he doesn't want to run out of things to talk about and like he doesn't want you to get bored of him like within because if you're messaging someone 24 7 at the minute when there's nothing happening you are going to be bored in a few days like you will be bored like uh, that would bore me to tears so i think that's probably what it is because if he's still messaging you then he obviously wants to talk to you like it's not like he has just like stopped messaging you he's just like messaging you a bit like all over the place which is like I think a good sign because if he didn't want to speak to you then he would just stop speaking to you like you know if that makes sense so I think just kind of go with it just go with it for now if you're only messaging a short while like he's obviously these are only getting to know each other like you know there's so little to talk about he doesn't want to run out of things like topics or whatever so just take it as it comes don't overthink it do not overthink it like go with the flow and see how it is like it's not like you just can meet up anyway so um maybe it's better that you are just like messaging here and there so that's just my thoughts anyway i think i'm gonna leave it there i hope you've enjoyed this little q a and um, make sure you're subscribed because i am uploading every day for the next like four or five days um and some of the videos that are coming are really fun and i'm so excited for you to see them so please 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 make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them but i'll be posting them on my instagram anyway but yeah i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you tomorrow bye